Preparations for this year MLK recommitment celebration are underway. The Northwest Arkansas Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Council is making sure that Dr. King's legacy is, lives on right here in Northwest Arkansas. Lindsay and Chris here to share more about what you can expect this year. Always good to see you. Good morning. Good to see Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Give us a little history on the council. So the council was started by the late Reverend J. Aaron Hawkins, and it was really Pastor Hawkins' vision to bring an organization to Northwest Arkansas to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. King. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And over the years, I know most people will probably be familiar with the march that you do every year as well as the recommitment um, celebration. For the both of you, because I know that you've been involved for quite some time, what is it that keeps you coming back each year to help plan this event? Uh, I think what keeps us coming back is, again, our ability to engage the community and to grow the platform of the council um, and to help build um, Dr. King's beloved community here in Northwest Arkansas, um, which, you know, Dr. King spoke robustly about building um, the beloved community, but the ability to expand that community here in Northwest Arkansas is what keeps me coming back and I believe Lindsay as well. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Um, for this year, what can we expect from the events that are happening? We are excited. So this year we have added a new event. Okay. On Friday night, January the 12th, we have added our um, beloved community festival. Okay. So we are super excited to be partnering with Crystal Bridges. We have a phenomenal free festival that will take place on Friday night at Crystal Bridges in the Great Hall. And it's really an opportunity for us to celebrate the cultural diaspora here in Northwest Arkansas. We will have some phenomenal local entertainment. A spoiler alert that uh, Funk Factory will be our headliner. Oh, nice. so we have some phenomenal, <laughs> besides Funk Factory, which is amazing, we have some other local phenomenal entertainment um, that represents the cultural diaspora here in Northwest Arkansas. We have some amazing food vendors that will give us a great representation of um, cultural foods here in Northwest Arkansas. Okay. Um, our, it is going to be an amazing event, and we are so excited to be able to partner with Crystal Bridges on this. Yeah, absolutely. What is planning like for these events? I imagine uh, the committee gets together, plans an event, and then you know you get to rest maybe for a second, and then it's off to planning <laughs> the next year. Is, is that how it works? We were yeah. sitting in the in the break room having some conversations about <laughs> what's next for 2024. Next for year, 2025. yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah. So it's never ending for sure. Yes, yes. So one of the things that I love about the council as well is uh, the scholarship opportunities that um, are available for students. Talk a little bit about that and if there's time for students out there to still apply for that scholarship. So unfortunately there isn't, but we are excited. We have 35 recipients this okay. year that we'll recognize um, at our recommitment celebration on January 13th. Uh, each recipient will receive uh, one thousand dollar award okay uh, so that's incredible for us to uh, uh, be able to afford them the opportunity to continue their education um, and they'll go to universities throughout the country um, we do not limit where they attend okay um, but a lot of them end up going to historically black colleges and uh, universities that's important but a lot of them end up going to Harvard Princeton's all over the country sure. um, to the U of A, to the U of a right. University <laughs> of Arkansas shout out um, but we're just very, very honored and excited to be able to contribute to them. Um, and we've done that for 28 years. Yeah, absolutely. And something else I know uh, during the celebration, you're honoring people in our community as well. Can you quickly tell us this year's recipients? We have some amazing recipients this year. So receiving the John L. Colbert Lifetime Achievement Award is Cynthia Nance. Mm -hmm. We have Jessica Bowser, who is receiving the Rodney Moman Youth and Young Adults Award. Um, the Ernestine White Gibson Individual Achievement Award is going to be received by Alice Guchazo Collins, uh -huh, who does yeah. a lot of work yes. respectively with MLK That's right. in the city of Springdale. Phenomenal. Our organization mm -hmm. of the year is Arkansas Support Network. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have one additional posthumous award, and that's our and posthumous um, in in a recognition of Pastor Hawkins, who was instrumental in founding the council, and that will be going to the late Robert Bob Gibson. Mm. Yes, absolutely, amazing people in our yes, community yes. being recognized. Give us the details on the weekend celebration that's going to be happening. So we're kicking off the Friday night okay. with our new beloved community mm -hmm. festival at Crystal Bridges. 
And then we go from Friday to Saturday morning, um, an amazing community service with Alpha Phi Alpha at the John L. Colbert Middle School where we're collecting seasonal wraps and we'll be uh, donating those to the Northwest Arkansas community. Okay. And from there, we're excited to move to our 28th annual wow. recommitment celebration. We have a community reception starting at 3.30 and then our recommitment celebration starts at 5 with the incomparable Nicole Hannah-Jones mm -hmm. serving as okay. our um, keynote. We'll do a fireside chat with Nicole Hannah-Jones. So we are excited about yeah, that. Yeah, very much so. And then going into Sunday, we have a memorial service um, with Alpha Phi Alpha at St. James Missionary Baptist Church. And then we move into Monday events on the birthday of Dr. King. Sure. Starting with our Dream Keepers. And Dream Keepers are our youth organization that's sponsored by the council. Their annual breakfast and youth engagement activity okay. along with the march and we will march on the university of arkansas campus to faulkner center for the performing arts where we will participate in the noonday vigil okay mm -hmm. okay so a lot of opportunities out there for you mm -hmm. to get involved